North Texans are also expressing outrage and questions about the Eric Garner case. Among those, among those objecting to the grand jury's decision is a member of the Dallas DA's office. Although the Garner decision prompted protests like this one on the streets of Minneapolis today, the mood was more subdued in Dallas, where people shared their questions along with their concerns. Being African American, I feel it doesn't matter if we're wrong or right. Why is somebody being put in a headlock for selling a cigarette? I pray for, you know, peace. I pray for proper, you know, conduct. The Garner case decision disappointed Russell Wilson. He's the prosecutor who oversees excessive force cases in the Dallas County DA's office. It looks like there were some other ways that Mr. Garner could have been taken into custody uh, without the uh, use of a lethal uh, chokehold. Across the country, some criticize prosecutors for not getting indictments of officers because they need cooperation in other cases. Wilson says that is not the case in Dallas. We've indicted three police officers, I think, in the last year. Uh, we prosecuted and convicted several officers on a, a variety of official oppression charges. Many North Texas police departments outfit officers with body cameras, but Wilson says that does not mean excessive force issues will end. If we want to change how free people use force, then that's not necessarily going to be a body camera issue. That may be training, uh, that may be uh, community awareness, that may be a whole host of other issues. Well, there are some local protests in reaction to the Eric Garner case. One is scheduled tonight at 730 at Dallas PD headquarters and another is planned for this weekend in Arlington.